What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here, and welcome back to Pokemon Snap with me, Austin John Plays of the YouTube channel Austin John Plays. <laughs> In our last episode, we unlocked the Pokemon fruit that we're going to be able to use at the beach and the tunnel for a whole bunch of fun and exciting things. Uh, I don't want to return to the beach yet. Instead, let's first, let's just blow through the tunnel with the apple or the Pokemon fruit, whatever it's called, and see what that does for us. Great. Pikachu, want this apple? Okay, he didn't want that apple. So I do have an unlimited supply of this, uh, this fruit, and I could just throw it everywhere, which is cool. So the nice part is that I could just keep hitting this Electabuzz, which will stop the cart like this. I mean, it's a shame that, you know, he's from the back and I'm not getting a better photo. But this is helpful in case I want to, like, stop me in a specific place for that cocoon, that cocoon a picture. Hopefully that was the middle. I don't know. Did he come down right here? Like right here? No, stop moving. Stop moving. Dang it. You're supposed to be my brakes. Okay, let's upset this electrode. Great, hopefully one of those is amazing. Oh! <laughs> that surprised me greatly. That Zubat? Maybe that was a better Zubat photo, I'm not too sure. Oh, he's gonna go and eat it. No, I wanna see you. Not, not, not hit you, sorry. Okay, can't use apples on that, duly noted. Oh, I can throw this in the water. Right? That's a thing? Yes! Magikarp! Awesome. And there's gonna be a Zubat flying through here. I'm ready for him. Maybe that was good. I'm not too sure. So I took a picture of the Pikachu one time and the Diglett one time, the Diglett a second time and the Pikachu. And then, third time, so that's supposedly three Diglets, and then, Doug Trio. Nice. Oh, isn't there something with, I think I have to hit all these Electabuzz, and then they get mad and come hit this generator? Yeah, that's a thing. At least I got a little something, right? It's weird that there's nothing over here. Oh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and uh, get all these Magnemites together. And they get together and boom. I think I just got credit for a Magnemite and a Magneton. And that makes the electrode explode. And then my guys are all like, whoa, hang on a second. It looks like we can go a different direction. Wow, I caused this Pokemon to literally call, make it explode itself to my benefit. Neat. <laughs> so those are just some of the fun ways we can interfere and interrupt in the entire ecosystem of Pokemon. All right, I have 11 pictures of Electrode. Oh, that's a nice one. That might be like a star photo. Yeah, no, this one right there. The entire Pokemon is in the frame, so it's like a large amount of points. All right, do I have a good Electabuzz photo at the end where he's angry, right? Sure, let's go with that one. These Doug Trios, that's a money shot. I remember Doug Trio was one of my favorite Pokemon in the original games. And then uh, in the N64 Pokemon Stadium. I had a Diglett for the Petite Cup, and oh man, that Diglett was a boss. Four photos of Zubat. Oh, that's a that's a pretty all right Zubat. Hopefully that counts as the middle of the photo. I'm not too sure. And yay, we got a Magikarp. Maybe that's the middle. I have one photo of Kakuna. That's it. <laughs> Didn't I get like some great photo? Oh, did, were those? Yep. These. Wait. Hey, wait. How is that an Electabuzz photo and not a Kakuna photo? Because Electabuzz is more of the frame? That's baloney. That's baloney like a bad deli. Call it Oscar Mayer, because that's baloney. 
Uh, 12 pictures of Magneton. That's its back. That's not a good photo. I guess that's the best one I have of it. Any photos of Magnemite? I did not take a photo of Magnemite. Okay, so I still need to come back and take a photo of Magnemite. That's fine, we still have business back here. It's time for Professor Oak's check. This electrode. The size, 1,000 points, perfect size. The pose, oh, it exploded, 1,200 points. Technique, perfect, 4,400. I think that's my highest scored photo. I'm cool with that. <laughs> it's bad. Is, is it slightly better? Oh, why do I have 800 points for the pose, but the last one didn't? The Pokemon's not in the middle of the frame, but it's still better. Look at this Magikarp. 380 on the size. It splashed 800 points. Double the score. That's a nice 2360. The Zubat. Size. Double. 1,000 points for the pose. The Technique. It did count as the middle. Nice. I'm super happy with any photo over 3,000. Diglett! That's not a better Diglett. Oh, but it was considered the middle of the frame. That's right. I forgot the last one wasn't. And now we have... Oh, this is a bad Pikachu. I know this is really bad. Doug Trio. How's the size? 960. The pose 750. Right in the middle of the frame. 3420. Not bad. This Electabuzz is not good. Oh, but that pose is better than it being dead. So I have that going for me, which is nice. Oh, and there's other Electabuzz in the photo. Really? You're considering those four pixels on the right another Electabuzz? But okay, cool. Magneton, size 580, the pose, so-so, the technique, at least it's in the middle of the frame, neat. I have the results of the trip. You have 17 Pokemans and 39,000 points. Wait, quick, come back to the lab. Welcome back. Austin, you found a split in the path. According to my research, that split should link to a new course. I've also made a link from my lab. You should go right away. Yeah. It's the volcano. The boiling magma here makes this place very hot. I'm sweating already. Before we do the volcano, I do want to do the beach yes. with the, uh, the Pokemon fruit because this is going to get us some much better photos than before. Okay, hitting the Pidgey doesn't do anything. Hitting the Doduo, nothing. Uh, but the Pikachu, I want to lure the Pikachu to the surfboard. No, don't hit the Pikachu. He's too adorable to hit. Just imagine it as being Ryan Reynolds. People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. Yes, yes, yes. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah. Okay, I was, I was a little late, probably because I hit him in the face. Great, got credit for the Lapras. Is this enough to hit the... I want to wake the Snorlax up. Does this do it? No. Probably need a flute or something. Apparently I could just knock out the Meowth. That's neat. Maybe that tonsillitis picture is going to be better than the last. And let's just start, start throwing apples in here. I think something nice might happen with all these uh, leaves that are being all cut up and thrown up everywhere. No, is the apple not doing it? I guess not. Oh. Got you, Lapras. Don't worry. I got you, boo. And I'm pretty sure we can hit this Chansey. Chansey's gonna open up. Yeah! Look at that Chansey and how happy that Eevee is. And the Lapras is on my right. Yeah! Does Kangaskhan like this apple? I think he does. She does. It's a female. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I got a little carried away on those Lapras pictures. I have one photo left. Maybe that's going to be a better, better Pidgey photo. I don't know. <laughs> this entire episode has been, I have apples now. Look at them apples. <laughs> really? You have to count all these photos? I know it's 60. I ran out of film. I have four photos of Pidgey. Maybe that's better. I doubt it, though. Look at these Lapras photos, dude. 
I think this one might be better. Oh. That one. Definitely that one. Look how happy this Eevee. <laughs> you ever seen Eevee that looks like Crash Bandicoot? Right there. <laughs> wow. Wow, the gems from the N64 era. That's a Chansey's, supposedly. Okay, let's go with that. Because apparently it's going to throw its young in the air and wave it like it just doesn't care. Three photos of Meowth. Let's get those tonsils. I don't know if that's going to be credit for surfing Pikachu or not, but that's the best one I have. I think I need to do it earlier and not hit him. And if I don't hit him, then he's going to be on the surfboard earlier. Oh, and I have the Kangaskhan now. That's right. Perfect. And that's going to increase my score even more. Whoa, it looks like you have a surfing Pikachu. Great, I got it, 1,000 points. Size, not good. The pose, it's very lively. And the technique, double. So that's a 5,000 photo. It can be much better if you get the sizing right and you do it a little bit earlier. So I wanna do that. I don't know if this is a better Meowth or a worse Meowth. Not as good of a size, okay. It's a new Pokemon's chances. What a funny pose. It's throwing its young in the air. That's a thousand points. <laughs> this Eevee, though. The size is slightly better. The pose. Oh, it's happy. 1250. It's not in the center of the frame. Ah, uh, big oof. You know what? I love this photo so much. So much. I'm going to save it, though. Lapras. The size, 420, blaze it. The pose, this is a relaxed pose, 1,000 points. Technique, right in the middle of the frame. Other Lapras, on, only an extra 20 points. But hey, we went from 120 to 2860, so much better. Kangaskhan, how's the size? 980, the pose, much better. The technique, much better. Nice. And this Pidgey, it's a gusting Pidgey for 500 points. Oh, it seems to be screeching. What? I don't know exactly what that means, but hey, uh, we just got our 4,000 point Pidgey. 18 types of Pokemon and 52,000 points. What is this? You'll find out what the next course is if you take four more Pokemon pictures. And we'll most likely get those photos in our next episode of Pokemon Snap. This episode was all about them apples and we're about a third done with the game already. What is this, episode, episode three? What is this, gonna be 10, 10 episodes that are what, 10 minutes each? So yeah, boom, you can binge this better than, better than WandaVision, great. Guys, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below if you're enjoying Pokemon Snap. Until next time, Austin John out.